Hi guys, there's another Daly's parcel that's just arrived, which is very surprising because I wasn't expecting this till um, sometime during um, the uh, weekdays, midweek. All right, let's check her out. Let's see what we got. And no, I don't work for dailies, guys. You keep asking me. I have no connection or affiliation with them. Okay? And no, I don't get any discounts from them. Let's make that clear. This uh, newspaper cutting they used as um, uh, material to keep the, the plants uh, moist is from the middle of winter. July is uh, middle of winter here, guys. So it's been, uh, um, been used three months later. But I wanted to show you in the middle of winter in Australia uh, what the temperatures are like in the subtropics. This is where Dailies is, by the way. They're near uh, here, see? They're in Kyogul, that's the small town near Lismore and um, Byron Bay. So they're the temperatures in the middle of winter in um, the subtropics, not the tropics, not the tropics, subtropics. 20, right? 20, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 19 and 20. And uh, that's around 68 to 70 um, Fahrenheit so you can see on that day here where I am at uh, real life utopia it, instead of 20 20 20 20 20 it was 15 see that which is 60 10 degrees colder see the southern states I'm in the south much colder than the north and the tropics they're the real tropics up there right 31 in winter that's 90 so just a little bit of a uh, trivia for you come on babies oh the babies don't want to come out with one hand oh there they go yeah two plants this time just to, what do you think? I was going to get 20. Let's have a look and see what they are. The usual what to do on receiving your box of um, plants and the receipt. Yep, not cheap for two plants. All right. So who are these two? Well, this should look familiar just from the leaf. Right? Huge leaf. Huge leaves. And I have like 10 of these trees already around the garden. Some in pots and some in ground. Which one could it be? It's one that I don't have. <laughs> Obviously. Let's see if I can get the focus to work. Naughty focus. It's a dwarf loquat tree. I don't have any dwarf loquats. And the variety is. Hmm. Nagasaki Waze. Nagasaki Waze. And it's grafted. Yeah. My first grafted loquat. All the rest are seedlings. So that's tree number one. And tree number two. Is a tree that I had, still have, but it's dead, I think. Well, I'm not gonna wait and, and, and uh, find out. I decided to order a replacement, just like I did with a Panama berry, the Jamaica berry. I got two replacements for it. And it's 1000% dead. But this guy, I'm not 100% sure if he's dead yet. You'll um, see him soon. 
So I've got a replacement. And this is a Acerola. What's wrong with the focus today? What kind of focus is this? Acerola, which is a Barbados cherry. We're not we're not getting any focus. Wow. With full sunlight. Let's try this way. Amazing. There you go. Come on. There. Uh, Florida sweet variety, just like the other one. This is my third acerola. Third one. And that's a cutting. Maybe I should take some cuttings from this before it dies as well. But I'll wait until uh, it gets going in summer. So I don't have to keep reordering. How much was this? Um, wow, $32 for a cutting. Jeez, not cheap for a for a, a cutting like like that, like this here. But of course, it took you know a year or so to grow in their greenhouse. They're not overnight cuttings. These take a year to two years to get to this size. But in any case, they're the two trees, and <coughs> I'll show you the other acerola. That's in the ground. Right over here. Right there. It's um, late afternoon now. There's not much sun in all areas, but look at it. Same tree that I got last um, summer. Summer in Australia is December to February, right? So I've had this for nine months and it's dead wood all the way down it was alive till july midwinter and in august it kicked it kicked the bucket so it's been here for august september october three months dead or is it i've tried to pull it oh, oh, oh. one budge these snap right can you hear that well, better lighting here. Check out the focus now. Perfect. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. The sounds of death. What do you guys reckon? You think there's life here? Mm-mm. I've been scratching it. I've been doing everything. Look. And I'm not going to put the new one here again. I learned my lesson. <laughs> uh, it's going to be in a pot for a while. And then I have to find a nice warm area. It likes hot sun. These guys love the sun. They love the heat. And this is shaded here. Shouldn't have planted it here. It was, it's very shaded. Uh, that was the whole idea. Of planting this um, what's it called tamarind this tamarind is a canopy tree and he was shading the sun loving acerola all winter not a good spot and the reason why I got the loquat is because the varieties that I have now where I can get a million cuttings from Right, here you go. There's a tree right there, thirty dollars. Thanks for that, just for that. And there's like um, a million cuttings on this tree. Now, the reason I got the Nagasaki Wazi variety is because it's an early variety. My loquats are not early varieties. They're they're late. I don't get loquats from these guys until um, October. Well, not this year. This year was a, is an off year. There's um, only like 10, maybe a dozen loquats, right? Usually we get a billion, one billion loquats. But this year it took off, right? So this is an off year. Forget about it. And uh, yeah, these fruit don't fruit till October, late October. 
and November, which is the end of spring. That's late. That's very late. So the new low quad I got, the Nagasaki Wazi, is um, early. You know how early? You won't believe it. July and August. Well, in the subtropics and in Sydney. I don't know about Melbourne. I ha I've never seen a, a, a low quad fruiting in winter here in Melbourne. It'll be the first. The earliest I've ever seen was one guy near me who's got a early variety and he gets ripe low quads in September. But that's not really early. That's your early-ish, right? September is not so early. I mean, it's better than these guys that, that come at the end of October. These are really late. So, that's the reason I got those two trees. Guys, one, I didn't have an early variety. And the other, to replace a dead one. To replace a dead one. So, I hope you enjoyed this dailies video. We do have more coming. But they're on um, one of those pre-order things. And one ship till I don't know when. They say anywhere between October and December. So we might not get another shipment for two more months. Alright guys. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And put a like if you did. And uh, don't forget to comment with what um, your um, experience is with uh, new trees from dailies or from anywhere and what you've been buying this spring here in Australia. I know that in England and America you guys are going to sleep now with your fruit trees unless you're in the subtropics. In the subtropics there is no sleep even in winter. Alright guys, see you later.